Hi everyone and welcome back to summer of series 6 in Forza Horizon 5. There's two event lab races uh, in this week's challenges. So let's do both of them. The first one is this rally cross uh, race against AI uh, on the airfield. Uh, which needs to be done in rally monsters in S1 class. So that's why I'm driving this Huni Escort. Uh, so far so good up in third place that's a, that looks like a nice jump oh that wall is way too close the jump is uh, really fast and I guess you need to break really hard oh wow where did that one come from oh okay so that big jump there it looks like AI has fallen uh, into the uh, into the pit and got stuck and not only he is stuck he also took out the AI that was going second which is <laughs> oh, which is quite funny um, and probably the first one got slowed down by that as well because it was way too easy to overtake him anyways uh, end of lap one we are in first I quite like the race layout uh, it's uh, it's a bit crazy, uh, but it's uh, really well done. Uh, overall, I have to say, the quality of event labs uh, that are featured in the festival playlist seem to have gone up quite tremendously. The the first few in the very beginning were kind of, eh, you know, mm, not quite interesting, but but. This is a, this is a really good job. This is uh, very nicely done. Oh, okay. Can I can I go there? Okay, I'll drive. Oh, it's a shortcut. Holy smokes! How did I not notice this first? Oh, I was busy overtaking uh, AI on the first lap. But this is a, this is a huge shortcut. Okay, if you struggle to overtake AI um, on this race just use the shortcut from the first lap um, and onwards this must be saving I don't know how much time but a huge amount that's a really good uh, design thing see a difficult track with reasonably hard AI but then a nice shortcut placed in it to allow anyone uh, to easily win it Oh, the cars flying overhead is also really nice. So yeah, kudos to the creator. This is this is really good job. I uh, you you can make it hard for yourself. You can make it easy with this shortcut. Either way works. So good design decision. Somebody really thought through what to do here. So ah, excellent, absolutely excellent. We finished the race now obviously in the first place i don't even know if you needed to win it or uh, just finish to get the prize but either way uh, winning it is not hard and let's see what the next one is okay the second event lab event is event lab event how did i say that stunt race uh, stunt race circuit uh, oh we are long here oh mm, that's a shame i do prefer racing with AI so okay let's go and see that's that's a massive tube oh that's a massive structure over there hold now okay now I understand getting AI to drive through this would probably be a little bit too much to ask from the artificial intelligence wow look at this thing I'm not a huge fan of uh, of this stunt uh, race tracks, especially when you're not really racing, just just going about. But I have to say, I am impressed. The amount of work that must—I don't know how long it took the author to create it, but this is this is really cool. This is really cool. Very nicely done. Uh, yeah, uh, at the very least. You, you get to, uh, you know, respect the amount of effort that was put into it. And this section here is just a uh, just regular racetrack, but it's uh, 
It's really nice. Oh. Okay, sorry for that. You didn't see that, right? Uh, absolutely nobody noticed me hitting the wall and just getting stuck. Uh, but again, uh, I didn't get stuck because uh, something is not lined up properly. Everything is, at least seems... Where do I go? What? Okay. Woo! Right, I... Uh, apologies for losing the words, but I... I got completely lost. I'm not sure I drove in the intended direction. Uh, I just hope I didn't... Yeah, the checkpoint is here, so... <clears throat> Flying off the ramp like that, I guess, was not a plan. But I got really confused where uh, and how I was supposed to go. The, also, the camera that starts flying around is a little bit, uh, you know, weird. So, <clears throat> okay, I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, the massive structures and all that, uh, that's, that's really cool. I actually thought that... Uh, Playground games put a limitation on the number of props uh, for the event labs in uh, that that are to be featured, but uh, this thing should have broken any any limit. Okay, let's that's two laps, two out of two. To be fair, I think one lap would be enough for this event. Um, I understand that because it's a circuit, I guess you can, uh, you'd wa you may want to set a good time and therefore you need two laps uh, so that at least one of them is actually a flying lap with, uh, uh, with time to speed up in the beginning, not from a standing start, uh, but uh, it's also a long lap, really long, so... Ah, that's a bad jump. Sorry for that. Tree. Uh, my favorite obstacle. Mostly an eliminator. That's where I hit the trees most of the time. But uh, here as well. So let's try to not hit the wall. And let. On the second lap, I want to at least try to understand whether I'm going the supposed way and how the track is constructed. So. Okay, this is all left and down, whoa, yeah, okay, I didn't fall off the ramp this time, <laughs> but I managed to uh, do a 180 and end up driving backwards, so not ideal, I'm a little bit curious how you're supposed to, uh, what is the proper ideal way to drive through that but nonetheless uh, right as I said in the beginning I'm not the fan of stunt races and I'm not very good at them either uh, especially when you don't race anyone I think uh, trying to race other people would be fun here anyways that's the end of it and two out of the two uh, event lab races for this week uh, which should give us, what, four points into festival playlist? Well, that's also a bit weird. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.